Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. This uh, it will be my third tutorial. Apparently uh, some people actually like my second tutorial. So this is a kind of a, a follow-up on the, f the second tutorial I did and how to insert an object into your video. So what we're going to do today is how to insert special effects into your video by using another video. So it's a video within a video. Now if you are using Corral and you've been using a little while, you may know of picture in picture, but you may not realize about video in video. So how is this done? Well, first off, let me show you what I'm going to do. Now, uh, again, I'm going to use the same footage, my little uh, country club garden here, the golf course, and I am going to uh, bomb it. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I know I'm sadistic. Uh, I'm gonna just blow it up. It's nothing fancy. It's not gonna be like, wow, that's just amazing stuff. It's gonna be very, very simple. So I'm gonna show you what it is that I'm going to be doing. So as you can see, it's. Uh, pretty crappy uh, special effects <laughs> uh, but you know with your uh, endless resources and your imagination I'm sure you can come up with something way better than I have just done but still you need to know how this is done so for whatever reason you want to add a special effect into your video you still need to know how this is done so let's uh, let's clear all this right back so we'll go back to the right to the basic and we don't need this guy here now first off you will need uh, a footage of an explosion now, I have a footage here of my explosion so now um, you're probably wondering where I get this sort of footage well I, I bought a package I bought a package a while ago which contains all types of explosions, gunshots, smokes and everything and it's recorded especially for chroma keying so if you're using blue screen or green screen they're ideal for that. Now you can go to this website as well De Detonation Films here and they uh, supply free stock of uh, different types of footage uh, to give you a good example like here is uh, a footage of an explosion in the green screen and then you can see how it's been added into a uh, footage film. Anyway, uh, I'm sure you will probably just Google it then you'll find plenty of this. So I have uh, my footage. Now you'll see when I add it to the timeline my footage is black but that's okay because black can also work with chroma key. So you go mask chroma key apply overlay now make sure it is black <laughs> otherwise it's not going to work because if it's uh, white or green or blue or any other color it's going to remain black so you just click apply and now you'll see that it's completely disappeared but if I move my slider along you will see the explosion so there it is there's the explosion so it definitely does work now obviously an explosion looks really odd because you're going to have this square bit where the footage was originally made. So how do we change that? Well, let's double click on the uh, picture. We're going to use the nodes. Now, we've got the yellow nodes which basically resizes or flips it or, you know, makes a reverse image. But you also got the little green nodes and these green nodes are your perspective nodes. So if I click on it and then I drag it, say about here, because now I want the bomb explosion to be from a point, like all bomb explosions. So I'm going to drag this here. So what this will effectively do is make the bottom of this footage very narrow. So now if I move it along, boom. See how it's a little bit smaller now? It's not like really broad at the bottom like it was before. Okay. So that's what we want. Oh, that looks okay. 
Let's uh, let's move this more onto the green. You know, if we're gonna bomb it, let's bomb it where the people play, right? Okay, looks good. All right, now the problem also now is if I run the footage, if I run my footage, what's what's going to happen is the bomb will explode, but then it moves with the footage, which can't be right. It should just go off screen. It it, uh, it doesn't follow. It doesn't move. It just goes off screen. So how do we fix this effect? Okay, well again, it's simple. Double click. There you go. My computer is acting a little bit slow today. Now you see the attributes window will pop up, and then you see direction and style. So you want it to be static when it first appears. So you click on static, and then you want it to exit to the right. So you click on exit to the right. So now it will move to the right along with the screen. So, again, let's take a look. Alright, there you go, that looks a bit better. Now, the only problem is, because it's static in the beginning, the bomb drops, and it doesn't move until now, which is kind of silly, really, because you want it to move the, the second it lands. So, again, let's just click on your footage, Let's go over here. Now this is your blue, the blue bar represents duration in which the video file will actually stay static. So this is the length of time, so we can reduce that. Now, but the minute that bomb drops, we want it to move with the footage. So we need to move this all the way to the beginning. Same with this one, all the way. and make them join or basically close the gap. no blue can be seen so now what you're gonna get is the bombs gonna drop and it's gonna move at the same rate as the video footage so there you have it it really is that simple so let's uh, I don't know let's make it a bit more exciting like is one bomb really gonna scare people? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's make a few. So control C, another one will appear. Mm. That looks like a good place to do it. Uh, if you want to add another track to your to your project, very simple. Right click or left click on this icon here, then you can click. Okay, and that then brings up another overlay track. And guess what? You can make as many of these bombs if you want. Control C again, and look at that. Now let's bring it right in the beginning. So there you go. So now we have three bombs. Let's have a look at the footage again. Bomb. There you go, look at that. Boom. Boom. It is that simple. You know, let's uh, let's make it a little bit more exciting. I've already got one of my sound effects added, so I'm gonna throw that in there as well. I've got another track in here, so yep. Blow him up as well. And uh, make it a third one. And again, you can also add as many soundtracks as you want, same principle, just, you know, here, soundtracks, music, so, yeah, whatever you want. And then, we, uh, yeah, we finished. And then we get this groovy thing again. So there you have it, that's how I make my, or you can also make now, this groovy little uh, effect. Thanks for watching.